Hi, uh, this is Dr. Rob Lindsay, and uh, I just want to talk to you a few minutes about uh, some thyroid hormones and the effect uh, on energy. So, if you are somebody who is having uh, just bogged down, maybe you're an athlete, uh, you have been uh, exercising, but you don't have the energy that you used to have, or uh, perhaps you're just going through life, you don't have the energy to make it through your afternoon without needing a nap. It could be related to your thyroid hormone. And some new research uh, from the journal Thyroid is kind of giving some information about why. So we know that thyroid hormones, uh, T4 and T3, are responsible for meta metabolic activities in the body. And so if, if uh, you have decrease in hormone levels for those thyroid hormones, it's going to decrease your metabolism. Uh, and what we know is that within our cells, if you remember back to some high school biology, we had these little organelles called mitochondria. And mitochondria, and even back in high school, they talked about how they were the powerhouse of the cell. That's where we generate and make our, our energy in the form of something called ATP. So <clears throat> in order to uh, make ATP, you need certain things. You need oxygen, you need fuel, uh, you need glucose, you need uh, some other enzymes and cofactors. But one of the big components is your thyroid hormone, specifically T3. And what this research is showing is that, is that it's actually making, almost like building muscle cells, it creates more mitochondria. So in theory, the more mitochondria you have, the more energy you should be able to make. The less mitochondria, the less energy you're going to make. So I want you to keep that in mind as if you're somebody who's suffering with fatigue, is that it could be related to this mitochondria, the inability to make energy so that you're always tired. Uh, you could be losing your hair. You could be um, having depression. You could be irritable. You could be gaining weight even though you're on a low calorie diet. And these are all thyroid symptoms. But one of the first things we always focus on in our office here is getting your energy back because without proper energy, you cannot heal. I don't care what you are suffering with. So I hope that's helpful for you today. Just a little tip. Increase your mitochondria by by having good thyroid function, but again, we got to find out why your thyroid is not functioning well in the first place. That's our job is to get to that root cause. So I hope this makes sense and I hope you have a great day. God bless you.